Hey, what's going on guys, Steven here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the effect you have just seen on screen. Uh, before we get into the video, I'd like to remind you guys to, uh, to please do like and subscribe if you end up enjoying the video. Uh, it really does help me out a lot, and only about half of you that are watching this video right now are actually subscribed. Uh, so please, please do remember to, uh, to do that. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Alright, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Vegas Pro 18. However, 16 will work just fine, and there is going to be no difference whatsoever in the way I make the tutorial. Uh, so I'm going to start off by just dragging in my clip, and uh, I think I'm going to choose another one, actually, for no apparent reason. Uh, so here we go. I'm just going to split that right there, and we're going to go to the kill. And I'm just going to go and delete the audio tracks so you guys go to go get ear raped. Uh, but just go, like, roughly here, I guess, like, here. And uh, just go and insert move on velocity. Uh, go ahead and double click here, and then go to like go a bit forward, I'd say, and then set it to zero percent, so that it just sort of slows down. And you want it to look somewhat like that. You want the entire skin to be clearly in view, and hopefully you won't have anything blocking it. Uh, however, I do. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, after this, just go ahead and go to the point where it, the velocity is set to zero. Go ahead and open your cropping. Click on mask, enable. Add a keyframe right here. Uh, go back one keyframe right here. Uh, go ahead and click on the add thing. And then go ahead and go forward to this. So uh, that is going to be about it. Uh, now you can go ahead and start masking the actual skin. Uh, I'm just going to do this and I will be back with you guys as soon as I'm done. All right, I have now masked out my entire skin and I uh, did it very, very quickly. So please excuse the... Um, inaccuracy uh so to speak i'm just gonna go ahead and finish masking out this last middle part very very quickly it really doesn't matter all too much uh, i would recommend you guys just make it very very accurate for the uh, for yourself uh but it doesn't really matter uh once you've done that instead of wanting the mask to be on top you just want it to be minimized or you want it to subtract the mask area so you just double click on it with the cursor tool or the v tool and click on plus uh, once you've done that, uh, it should just... Actually, no, you want to click on minus. I am very stupid. I'm gonna click on minus. There you go. And these little middle segments right here that may, might be minimized as well, you want to click on plus on those and you get that. So essentially, what we want to do here is just drag in our second clip underneath. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove the audio track for this. However, you don't want to do that at home. Uh, so essentially, just put the starting part of wherever. If you have a song, uh, say like you have a beat here. Uh, you have another beat like here you'd want to sync it up so that the kill is here and you just like drag it in here uh so make sure that it is all synced up once you've done that but i'm gonna go ahead and just do that and now what we need to do is make three new audio tracks so insert video track one two and three just like that uh actually that is three there we go and what we want to do now actually no we need to make another one that's my bad all right now you need to go into your search tab and search for blur mo curves just like that just go ahead and apply the default uh, go ahead and go to where the first keyframe in the velocity is. Go ahead and keyframe your Z distance, rotate, shift X and Y. Go ahead and make keyframes here. And then go to where you want the transition to end. This will probably be for a, a, on a beat for you guys who are syncing it to the music. But I'm just going to go ahead and go a bit in. Which is going to be like right uh, like here for me. So the first thing to do is shift your X and Y. So just go ahead and make the center point uh, inside of the mask. Just central. Like right, right there sort of. And now you need to set your Z distance to 0, 0,05. And you would set your rotate to like 10 to 15, anywhere in between. I'm going to set like 13. And if the if there's still like a piece of your mask visible, just go ahead and reduce the Z distance until it is no longer visible. So how this is going to look for us right now is we just go here. And obviously that is very, very linear. So uh, I would recommend you just set these to slow to start off. If you want to make it uh, like... Actually, no, we want to set the fast, I think. No, you definitely don't want to set it to fast. That is my bad. No, don't do that. Uh, if you want to make it a lot better, you just go ahead and click on curves. And uh, you can go ahead and use the curves here. And instead of setting it to slow, you just right-click on it. You can click on split manual. And there you get these little handles that you can use. But I'm not going to be go going over that in today's video. I'm just going to do it at a later date in a separate tutorial. Uh, so it'll be pretty linear for this. However, there are several ways you can fix it. Uh, now what you need to do is go into your video effects tab and search for drop shadow. I'm going to go ahead and just drag my drop shadow onto here. And just go and copy my settings right here. Just go ahead and copy all of those. Uh, now, once you've done that, we need to just uh, go ahead and make three copies of this. So hold control, just drag it up. One, two, and three. And we want to make a fourth one as well. I'm going to go ahead and split all of these on the... Uh, 
all the new ones on the velocity, on the first velocity keyframe. And then go ahead and delete them. Uh, now what we need to do is go to the very top track, we need to click on the FX button, and we need to delete the, uh, the drop. No, that's not what we need to do. We need to go into our cropping tool, and we need to disable the mask. Uh, next what we need to do is just go a bit up in to the actual effect, and we need to just split it, delete the, uh, the last part, and then just fade it in. Now what this is going to do is it's going to like add a fade to the mask, it's going to make it a lot nicer to look at. Uh, but now what we actually need to do is we need to go to the top right here and just click on where the keyframes end. Now we need to go down to the second track and since we're on 51 right here we need to drag these to 54. Uh, now that we're on 54 we go to the bottom one and we drag it to 57. So make sure that there aren't intervals of 3 otherwise it won't look smooth whatsoever. Uh, now we just drag these to 60 just like that. And the last one should go to... Uh, I think that's fine, actually. Yeah, it should be fine. So now the, when we actually get it, it should look like that. And we are all good to go. Uh, you can obviously delete all of them, uh, all these top ones, after the uh, the zoom in is done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Uh, you can also delete that one, of course. And as you can see, we have our transition all nice and dandy. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like down below, comment, subscribe, all the good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days, and peace.